your divine grace. Bless and approve our offering. Make it acceptable to you, an offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered, he took bread in his sacred hands, and looking up to heaven to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ your Son, we your people and your ministers recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer to you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take the sacrifice to your altar in heaven, then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died. And have gone before us, Mark, with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ Find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy. Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Through him you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. a la recomendación del Salvador y siguiendo su divina enseñanza nos atrevemos a decir Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo santificado sea tu nombre venga a nosotros tu reino hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden 
no nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy, no tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, construir la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Démonos un saludo de paz unos a otros. Este es el Cordero de Dios, que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, soy digno de que en mi casa. Por la palabra tuya bastará para sanar mi alma. Por gusto, mi nuestro Jesucristo. Oremos que este sacrificio eucarístico que te hemos ofrecido y del cual hemos participado, santifique, Señor, a tus sacerdotes y a todos tus fieles, para que en plena comunión contigo colaboren con todas sus fuerzas a la edificación de tu reino, por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. Antes de dar la bendición final de la Santa Misa, yo le voy a pedir al Padre su bendición y también el Monseñor Peña. Vamos a recibir esta bendición como la primera bendición del sacerdote y luego todos juntos aquí vamos a ofrecer la bendición sobre el pueblo. De pie, por favor. El Señor esté con ustedes. La bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo descienda sobre ustedes y permanezca para siempre. Amén. Nuestra misa ha terminado. Demos gracias a Dios. Demos gracias.